Our voyage began in England in the spring in Chichester Harbour, and from there we sailed along the south coast, then crossed the Celtic Sea to the Republic of Ireland. For the month of May, we cruised up the coast into the Irish Sea, stopping in Dublin and in Northern Ireland in Belfast. We are leaving Dunleary in Dublin here in the background. Finally, the gales are finished. We're starting to head north up the coast toward Northern Ireland. In early June, we sailed to Scotland and crossed the Kintyre Peninsula through the Crinan Canal. And now we're about to go right across Scotland through the Caledonian Canal. The scenery and the landscape here is unbelievable. This is Scotland, behind me is Fort William, and that is the start of the Caledonian Canal. Our first lock in this 60 mile long canal is the Corpac Sea Lock. Should we go right up to the front? Very straightforward, it tells you, up and down. Okay. Well, basically pulling the sluice open, yes. so it creates a hole to let the water pass through. Okay. At the moment, we'll need to do that because the water level isn't equalized here in order to allow us to open up the gates. Right. Opening the sluice will let the water out of the lock chamber until the gate can be opened and we come into the lock. Put your back behind it like this mm -hmm. and you're going to push down on it. Some of them are really easy to open when it's kind of... This is the most northerly of the British Isles, the island of Unst in the northern Shetlands. And just on the very north of that is the famous rock Muckaplugga, which you have to say carefully. The population of Unst is less than 700, down from when the military base was a major economic engine. We're off to the bird sanctuary at Herman S. The steep cliffs here are what provide these birds with their nesting area, and we can get right up above to look down on them. We've just set sail from the islands of Shetland in the far north of Scotland and are crossing the North Sea to the west coast of Norway. It's June 28th, just a week past the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year. At this latitude, nearly 61 degrees north, for the whole night crossing there will be light in the sky. And we have a week of clear weather as we learn about the farming of Norwegian salmon, climb into the mountains on one of the world's steepest train journeys, cycle the dramatic mountain paths, and find out about Norwegian cultural history as we sail into the longest fjord in Europe. Well, it's 8.30, the sun's just got up. We've been underway for an hour already because we have to get to this gate where the tide is going to be just at the right time and you can only go through it just on slack water at the Raz de Seine. Last night, we anchored just 10 miles from the Raw de Seine. The Raw is a narrow passage between the Cape and 15 miles of dangerous rocky shoals on our route to Brest. 